So far linked is still offline, but a brand new contender has just entered the ring and the name is unlinked. So here is the application running on my Nvidia Shield. Let's open that up. Now, let me just say for a first release of this application, it really has some fantastic features that you can use straight away. Things like creating multiple libraries of your content. You can pin lock your libraries all file hosters or really anywhere where you can find your files online, you can use that and link them in this application. But what the developer tells me is that the foundation of this application is all about security. So he wants to make sure that anybody using this application can remain, you know, completely anonymous. So this application will not ask you for an email address or any personal details and everything inside the application is fully encrypted, which means your communication from the website, from the application to the backend servers, everything is encrypted and he has no access to see anything inside your store. And if you forget your password, then because of that encryption, there's actually no way for you to access your store again. So really what I'm trying to say is if you care about maximum security or maximum privacy, then I really think this application is worthwhile checking out. So in this video today, let me take you through this application, give you a quick rundown. We'll create a quick store and I'll even show you another store that somebody's created for this demonstration. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, if you do want to create your own store, just navigate to this website, which is just unlinked.link. You can then click on register and you now need to set yourself a username and password. Now, the key thing is if I just go for a TD UK 2022, let's click on uh, continue and I agree. Now, if you look at the password and you can see here that it says that the password needs to be 35 characters long. Now, initially I thought that was a typo, but when I spoke to him, he said that the reason why it's that long is he actually uses a hash of that password to encrypt your data. So only a combination of your username and password can decrypt your data or decrypt your store. No one else, especially him, has any access to your store. Now, as you can imagine, trying to find a 35 character password is not going to be easy, but let me just type something in. So we can see I've got a very long password in there. And now that the register button is lit up, let's click on that. And that's it. We've now created our first store. Now, the way that the store works is you can create multiple libraries in that store and each library has its own code. And that's the code you can now give to your friends or your followers or to your customers for them to access that particular library. So uh, for a quick demo, let's click on uh, create. Now I'm going to say this library is my uh, utilities and let's give that a description. So uh, my tools for fire stick, uh, you can give a welcome message if you want. And we can see we have the feature to enable a pin lock. So and click on create. So we've now created our first library. And again, you can go and create multiple libraries. And once you create it, you can see you now get a code. And this is the code you can now enter into the website or into the Android TV application to then access your content. But let's actually add some content. So let's click on files. I can now click on create. Okay, so let's now add in something. So I'm gonna add in my uh, DB assistant which is used to clear junk files. And we can see we now need to enter in the URL for that file, but also we get the option to add in the logo and also the tutorial URL. So what that means is, you know, for your friends or for your customers, you can actually have a link that they click on, which maybe then shows them how to use the application or just some extra information about the application. So this feature is also very handy. Uh, but for this example, I'm just gonna go to archive.org. Like I'm just gonna paste in my URL for DB Assistant. There it is. And for the logo, let's just search for assistant. Go to images. Uh, let's go for this logo over here. Copy image link. Let's go back to unlinked. Let's paste that in and click on create. And we've now created our first application in this store. Uh, let's just do a couple more. And we now have two applications in this new store. So let's now jump over to my Android TV and let's see how these applications actually look. Okay, so to get the latest version of this application, open up your favorite browser. In my example, I'm going to use Downloader. And we're now going to make a connection to my website, 
by using the short code 53402 or you can just type in techdoctoruk.com. Let's type that in and click on go. Now when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that and then click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get this new unlinked application on all of your devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here's some information about the application, some of the key features, the encryption, password protection, multiple libraries. Scroll down, you can use web apps. So you can actually type in the short code for the website and access any library by just using any browser on any device. Let's scroll down. Now we'll leave two of the test stores on my website. So if you do want to check them out, then you can get the codes from there on the same page. For now let's click on this link here, which is the unlinked first release. Scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download the application directly onto your device. Once you've done that, you can now press the home key. So that's the application installed on my Android TV. Now you can install this application on the Fire Sticks and it does work, but you do need to use the mouse toggle on that device. Uh, but for now, let's open up this application for the first time. Now, one great feature about this application is when you do add a library to your store or to your application, then that library gets saved. So what that means is you can add in a couple of libraries from your favorite YouTubers or from your favorite sites and they will all appear on your home screen. So you don't have to remember any kind of complicated numbers or keep looking online for different codes. Once you've added the library to your application, they will stay on there. So let's add in the first library. Let's click on add. So this library for utilities has the code of 9135F6A0. Click on go. And there we are guys. So we now have access to all of those utilities in that store. And I get to see the logos. And you can see the way you can sort of navigate through them. It does have a really nice uh, interface. And if I want to install something, uh, let's click on this one here. Click on download. That then downloads the installation file. I can then click on that. Click on launch. And that then allows me to install that directly on my device. So very easy to use interface. You can create multiple libraries. And as I said before, any library that you add to your application, they'll all appear on your home screen. So if I back out of this now, Let's go back in. There we can see the libraries there. Let's now add a, a different library. This has a pin lock, which I've already mentioned what my special pin is. So let's enter that in. Let's go into that. And we can now see we have access to all of these other premium uh, applications, which have all been uh, enhanced for your viewing pleasure. Now, again, if I back out the application and you can see that the way when you add a library, a new library, it goes to the top of the list and your older libraries are underneath that. Let's back out one more time. Let's make sure the application is closed. Let's go back in. So all that asks you for a new library code, we can see if I scroll down, I can now see all of the applications that were previously added to this store. So. That's all for this video, guys. And the way I see it, the more of these applications that come out, like we know about AppLink, and the developer has been working really hard on that, adding new features, getting new things working. There's also another application called FileSync, which is also coming out, where I'm also a part of the testing team. So the more of these applications that come out, I think the better it's going to be for you guys, because you can then see whichever application that you like, that you want to use, you can then push ahead with that. So more applications, more competition, hopefully means better options for us. So really appreciate your support. Make sure you are subscribed. So when any of these new updates do come out, you'll be the first one to know. So do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.